Hi guys and gals, Miss Dawson and Trey here. Um, we are going to talk about personal financial literacy. So that's our newest math unit. It's all about money. This is my favorite unit of the year. So the first thing we're going to talk about is spending, sharing, and saving. So those are the three things that you can do with your money. So I'm going to take a few notes. I'm going to show you how to work out some of the problems and you'll be good to go for the week. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is talk about spending. You probably know what spending is. It's when you use up your money to buy something. Use up money to buy. Now, if you use it up, do you have it anymore? No, it goes to the store or Amazon or Target, wherever you spent that money. It's not yours anymore, it belongs to the store. The next thing you could do is share your money. Share is when you give money away to a charity. So let's say you really um, want to help support the food bank, so you're gonna give out $10. So is that $10 yours anymore? Nope, it belongs to the food bank. The last thing you could do with your money is save it. So that's where you keep the money. You're not getting rid of it. It's not going anywhere else. You are saving it. So it's your money. So we have spending, sharing, and saving. Now, there are some math problems that go with spending, sharing, and saving. And it'll look something like this. It'll say, Miss Dawson got $10 for her allowance. Okay, so how much did I start out with? $10. She is going to share $1.50 with the Humane Society. Did you know we love the Humane Society? She is going to spend um, $5.35 on Hot Cheetos. You know me and my hot Cheetos. And then the last part will say, how much did she save? So your job is to figure out what this missing number is. Now the way you could figure out this missing number is you could do something like a strip diagram. So I start out with $10. I used up $1.50. Then I used up $5.35. And it wants to know how much is left over. What's that missing piece? So that's what our strip diagram would look like. The actual math you would do to solve this, you could do it two different ways. I am first going, I'm going to figure out how much I spent. So $5.35 and $1.50. This money is no longer mine because I shared it and I spent it. So it's not mine anymore. So I am going to have five, eight, 685 is how much I've used up. So I'm gonna write that down. I've used up 685. How much did I start with? 10. Now, if you're gonna do a math problem, you have to say $10. And did I have any cents with that? Nope, so it would be $10 and zero cents minus $6.85. Oh, come on. Now, why am I minusing it? I'm minusing it because I don't have that money anymore. I'm finding the difference. New pin. Sorry, my pin is gonna be now green. So, let's go over. We had $10 to begin with. I used up $6.85. How much do I have left? Well, I'm gonna have to subtract across zeros. Do, do, do. So that becomes a zero and that becomes a 10. Does it stay a 10? Nope, because I'm gonna borrow from it. Now that becomes a 10. Does it stay a 10? Nope, because I gotta take from it too. Now this one gets to become a 10. Does it get to stay a 10? Yes, because it's our last place value. 
10 minus 5. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. 9 minus 8. 1. Don't forget to drop your decimal. 9 minus 6. 3. And 0 minus nothing is 0. So 315. So this is saying I shared $1.50, I spent $5.35, and I saved $3.15. Now, if you did your math correct, these three should add up to your total. It doesn't matter which one of these is your missing piece. Let's say we know how much you saved and we know how much you shared and we wanted to figure out how much you spent. It's the same process. You find what you used up and then find the difference from your original total. So if I added these up, zero, carrier one, five, 10, 0, carrier 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. I just did some quick math. That shows that we did our math correctly. I'm going to do one more with you. Hopefully this time my pin won't break. And then I'll let y'all practice some on your own. So, Trey got an allowance of $5. Okay. He shared... A dollar twenty with the San Antonio Food Bank. Then he saved two dollars and fifteen cents to put in his piggy bank. How much did Trey spend on candy? So we would follow the same process. You figure out how much has been used up. So I need to put those two together to figure how much has been used up. 120 plus 215, 5, 3, 335 has been used up. 335. How much did I start with? $5. So to figure out your missing piece, you need to do... Five dollars minus three thirty-five. I'm trying to remember the song that we did for the subtracting across zeros. I can't remember it. So five turns into a four, and this turns into a ten. Does it get to stay a ten? No. Nine. So now this zero gets to turn into a ten. 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 3 is 6, drop it, 4 minus 3 is 1. So Trey spent $1.65 on candy. Trey, is that what you did? Yes, okay. So that's the key when you're doing spending, sharing, and saving. Send me any messages if you have questions, email me. Um, but other than that, this is a really important life skill to understand, so take your time on it. I am going to do a quiz for your Google assignment, so you're going to get some time to practice on your own. Okay, bye guys. Take care, be safe, I love you, and I miss you.